Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are gonna play some disc golf. I got a special guest with me here. This is my father-in-law, so uh, Sasquatch, uh, Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, go check out his channel, uh, Heavy Howler. Um, he'll be making some videos here soon, putting them up. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, but we are here uh, at Superior Pines Disc Golf Course in Grand Marais, Michigan. So let's get into it. All right, guys, hole one here. It is 236 feet. Uh, you can see the basket kind of through the trees uh, up there. So one that uh, dog legs to the right. We'll go ahead and get into this first hole. <laughs> that looked like a first throw. <laughs> What disc you throw in there? Um, let me get. This would be the Whammo Vintage Series. What are the flight numbers? Um, they fly. <laughs> Number fifty-one fifty. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a putt. Do you want to go first? Or you want me to go? I can go. Okay. All right. He'll, he's going to go ahead and finish out here for the uh, solo birdie. Oh! There we go. Saved it for the par. All right, guys. We got hole two here. Basket straight ahead. Um, I'll put the the feet uh on the video here because it doesn't say it on the sign didn't quite see that <laughs> uh but we're gonna go ahead and get into this hole nice straight shot see what we can do That's close. Guys, we are right up here. 4-4, four, four. it's not exactly what I was looking for. And uh, Bigfoot here is putting for birdie. Oh! Well, that's that one's, that one's gonna be a par. <laughs> he said, shout out Isaac. <laughs> there we go, all right. That's what Isaac would do. All right, we got hole three here. Um, this one is 384 feet. Uh, it goes straight up here and then cuts to the right. Basket is over there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this hole. Uh, hopefully we can get a stroke back. We'll see. We'll go with the Colossus here. Should be good. All right, guys, we made it up here to the drive uh, basket. Uh, just outside of circle one, probably by 10, 15 feet. Let's see if we can get this putt to go in. Nope. I threw that so nose down, that was so bad. <laughs> All right, guys, I am right here. Easy. Tap in par. You have your your tap in par here. <laughs> there it is. Whammo! Whammo! <laughs> All right, we are on hole four, 326 feet. Basket straight ahead. Pretty open. Uh, see if we can get one up there close.
Tried to throw it on a bit of Anheuser, but there was nothing there. <laughs> All right, guys, in for four. This is your birdie putt here. You gotta make this. Look at that. All right, sorry guys, we missed his drive. Uh, he just walked right up there and threw, completely parked it. No, your drive landed right here, remember? Yeah. yeah. That yep, that's how you had the birdie putt. <laughs> All right, on to hole five. Hole five, 351 feet, uh, goes to the right. So basket will be over there somewhere. Maybe we'll try to throw a roller or something here. No. Oh man, that was turning so good. Perfect. Hole six, we got 369 feet. Uh, go straight up here. Basket just slightly to the left. See if we can get one up there. A uh, decent way. Maybe not hit a tree this time. I don't know. You actually beat me on the last hole. You got it in five. I got it in six. Well, I didn't so. want to. Um, I just didn't want to make you feel bad. But I mistakenly hit the basket. Knocked it in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, try not to do that again. It'll help my self-esteem. Right. <laughs> Should be okay. Like went, a, it. went a long way. Yeah, it did. <laughs> try a fun shot. I'm going to go up over here, try to let it swoop in towards the basket. Oh, that was close. That was close. Yep. Nice. Should have make it. <laughs> All right. It's good to get back on the par train. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna throw your birdie in? As we're on hole seven, two hundred and seventy-four feet. Basket is right behind this big tree right here. Um, but <clears throat> I believe it's your tee pad. You can go first, sir. <laughs> Just straight away. Straight away. Right. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it's too deep. <laughs> Oh man, that was gonna be so good. All right, two pars in a row. Let's keep it going. Hey guys, we are on hole eight, 318 feet. See the basket straight ahead there between those trees. Um, let's check out this. Little story about this hole. Brent's wife, my daughter, we used to come up here and we set the tent up right here. We used to camp here. And now it's a disc golf course. Yeah, yeah, it comes around the bend here and just a beautiful, beautiful spot here. Going with the origin here, mid range. Definitely can't get it all the way there, but my goal is to get in between those trees up there, hopefully. Hopefully. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> Long putt for par. Oh, 
went just behind the basket. Well, that was a really cool hole eight. Um, never, uh, never played a shot over a river like that. Kind of made a mess of the hole, uh, getting a four, but uh, that's okay. Go on to hole nine. Hopefully, uh, get back on the par train. I don't know. <laughs> There's no train. It's just singular cars. <laughs> All right, we got hole nine here, 237 feet. Basket uh, is up the fairway here, and then down. Uh, and a little gully down there. So, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll go with that plan. <laughs> All right. Razor claw, 237. Ooh. That's going to be good. Like it. No trees. Should be down there close for a putt. <laughs> should should be <laughs> okay, we are walking up to the basket of nine and you can see the basket right here and the disc right there oh man that is such a good feeling uh when you see a disc that close to the basket so let's get this birdie <laughs> take a deep breath All right, we got hole 10, 183 feet. Basket is on the top of the hill right there. And there's a Sasquatch behind this tree. Oh, no. You hit four trees. That was a lot of trees. <laughs> I just want to see. <laughs> that was close. Oh, man. I threw that a little bit hard. Got it. All right, guys, we're on hole 11. This one goes up in to the left, up in here somewhere. Uh, see if we can get one up there nice nice and close. I think it's 377, I believe. So I uh, don't think I can get there, but see if we can get one within putting range. Holy moly, look at that tree. A little bit too much power. Just to the left though, right? Yep. Rolling. In for four. All right, hole 12, 264 feet. Basket is right around the corner on the right side. This is a good forehand hole, but I don't have a good forehand, so we're going backhand turnover. Or backhand cut roller. You know, those work. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, we are here at uh, hole 13, 243 feet. So the basket is up on the right side. Try a little forehand action with the Colossus. I'm not good at forehand, but we're gonna give it a try. So bad at forehand. That might be okay. <laughs> not a great throw, but it might be okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Hole 14, it says, at least the old sign says it's 273, but it might be different, so if it's different, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but uh, we're gonna go with the origin, see if we can get it up there, miss those first initial trees. Not bad. <laughs> Just short of it. Oh. That's so sad. <laughs> Thank you. I get a car roll every time I bogey. I'm going to try to do that more often. <laughs> Good. All right, hole 15, uh, 198 feet. I'm going to go with the Nomad, try to put it up there close. Not enough height, but I think that'll be a birdie. Rolling. <laughs> That's two in a row. Here we go. All right, hole 15, 311 feet is what the sign says. We're gonna go ahead with the Colossus. That's all right. This is so sad. I need another caramel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seventeen says it's two oh four up on the hill. You see at the top of that embankment there. Got a driver here. I just want to get it there. Got to give it enough height. See it. See if we can do that. So basket. Basket. Right. right. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Really bad kick. <laughs> Far. All right, hole 18, 459 feet. I'm going to go with this mid range, try to get to the bend, and then see if we have a throw from there. So here we go. How can I throw it straight like that time? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can get this to flex around this corner. Oh, it started flexing too early. That's down the bank. That one might be wet. <laughs> uh, it might be. <laughs> well, it did get wet. But it's down the bank. You're out. The crawl of shame. Got it. Say it again. Shot number four. Oh, the camera's backwards. Okay. All right. Shot number four. Let's see how close we can get. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, no. Ready action. Ready action. Taking my medicine for six. <laughs> right. That wraps it up. <laughs> uh, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, the last uh, last few holes there weren't great, but uh, pretty nice course. Um, honestly, I feel like if I play this again, uh, had my whole disc disc golf bag, I might do one or two strokes better. Uh, but I'm still an amateur golfer, so uh, definitely definitely a fun course. Loved uh, checking it out. Um, so if you're up in Grand Marais. This is the only disc golf course up here. Come check it out. Uh, come play it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of cool holes that go next to the river. Uh, so really even just to get out and enjoy, uh, you know, nature and uh, watching the river, watching animals, things like that. Uh, definitely uh, a lot of fun, uh, guaranteed. So thank you for watching the video again. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. bit of orange right there. Thinks it's a disc. It's gonna try to cross the water. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh it's a good one then. It's a professional. Fairway driver. This uh, owner must have not been very fair. Decided to go on the other side of the river. <laughs> uh, tired now.